These are America's most important allies in the war against ISIS in Syria. The Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF, have been pushing the terror group back for months. But this could be their most important victory yet. Fighters say they've all but liberated the strategic town of Manbej. <laughs> We have taken these areas away from ISIS. This video, obtained exclusively by CNN, shows the Syrian Democratic Forces in house-to-house -house combat. The group is made up mostly of Syrian Kurds, many of them women, but also includes Arabs and foreigners, like Damien from France. First of all, I came to fight. I came to fight ISIS because they're also in France, because they are a common enemy. This is an enemy that we also have in France. Manbej is a strategic logistics hub for ISIS. Lies about halfway between the Turkish border and the extremists' self-declared capital, Raqqa. Taking it means choking off much of the group's supply of weapons and fighters. The U.S. is providing aerial support for the SDF fighters, strikes that have made a major difference on the battlefield, but there are also reports of more than 100 civilian casualties. The U.S. military is investigating the deaths. And even with American air power, the going has been tough. ISIS booby-trapped much of Manbij, some of its bomb-making factories later discovered. Mostly they used handmade mines. Because we have surrounded them, they had no manufactured materials left. They had nothing left. They even used teapots to make mines. This is also a belt for explosive materials. They fasten the belt filled with explosives to themselves. The SDF fighters had to battle snipers and determined ISIS foot soldiers. ISIS released this video showing its militants on the front lines, using suicide truck bombs to try and halt the advancing U.S.-backed force. The U.S. has called Manbej, quote, a fight like we haven't seen before. Many of the civilians are simply happy to have escaped with their lives. We were afraid of ISIS, but today we are free. When we were in Manbij, there were four snipers above our house. And when we tried to flee, the snipers shot at us. Their bullets came down like rain. ISIS didn't allow us to leave. If they capture us and see us, they will kill us. Some of the women, saved from ISIS's grasp, burned the abayas they were forced to wear in celebration. But while these civilians rejoice for now, the SDF will have to fight many more tough battles before ISIS is destroyed. Fred Pleitkin, CNN, Berlin.